So being a student myself, I have often find, found myself uh, wanting to make some notes and also wanting to make summaries of classes. And uh, I would usually do this all by hand. But what I found is that uh, using Emacs and using Word mode in general makes it so much easier. And in fact, I'm going to cover one of the aspects in which Emacs has helped me greatly. And this is one thing that I couldn't even imagine being done with uh, Vim, but yet it's so simple. Now, in order to do this, I'm going to open up my Emacs and I'm going to show you some of the summaries that I did uh, for some classes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open Ranger. Now, try to remain calm, okay? Uh, I have Ranger open now uh, inside Emacs and I'm going to go to my telecom folder. I'm going to open up my courses and I'm going to, I think this one has it. So I'm going to look for my summaries and uh, this is what one of them looks like. I'm going to open up the PDF. Notice that uh, essentially they are kind of summaries for my classes, if you will. So what I would usually do is I would take an A4 paper after class, I would divide it in half, and I would uh, kind of write this little half a page summary. And I think that doing this in half a page is very useful because it forces you to really think about what you are putting in paper. You don't have that much space and it forces you to kind of understand what you're doing. So I found that the, I really learned a lot better when I was doing this. And uh, again, this is just an example. You're not forced to do things the, you're not forced to do things the way I do, but uh, if you want, I mean, this can be a good start. And the, the objective here anyway is to show you what can be done on Emacs. And this is all, all of this has been done uh, very simply using just an org mode file that I then apply the LaTeX header and essentially the LaTeX header is what uh, handles the heavy lifting. And then I have a, a setup that works across all courses and that I can repeat however, uh, however many times I want. So this is the first thing, we'll go to the configuration. I'm going to quit this PDF and I'm going to reopen my Ranger and we're going to see uh, the source for that. So if I go back there, I think it's here. And I'm going to open a .org file. So this is a, this is very simply a org mode file. What you have noticed is that I changed some of the parameters. So uh, notice the size of the paper is different, and I'm going to talk about why that is very soon. But I'm going to divide this in half, and I'm going to open up the file that's in the uh, that is in the LaTeX header because that's essentially the template kind of. Uh, so I'm going to go to documents, LaTeX and summary header. And this is a regular LaTeX file. Most specifically, this is going to contain all of my use package statements. So you can notice that I, in my LaTeX class options, I declare that it's an A4, A5 paper, sorry. And what I mean by that is that uh, you saw that, you saw that essentially there are two kind of summaries per, per page, and then each summary is like half of the page. So essentially what I did was I declared that one summary corresponds to one A4, A5 paper. And then I use this package, which is called PGF pages, and it essentially merges two A5 papers so that they print as if they were one A4 paper. So that's what I'm doing here. I made the margins relatively small because I'm going to, again, I'm going to make it so that this is very, very compact and then uh, do it in landscape, obviously, because you, you saw that I took that, uh, A5, uh, I took that A4 paper, I divided it in half, and then that half I put it in, uh, I put it in landscape mode. So, and then I also declare some macros, like um, I'm going to open back my PDF, where, and notice that, for example, here I have a data center in red, and if you look at my source, which is the org file here, uh, I have a little macro which is called C red, and this is essentially what colors it red because uh, it's uh, it's less thing to type essentially. So I just type in this macro and then the color and then the word that I want is going to be uh, put in red. And uh, you can also notice that it is divided into four columns, and what divides it in four columns is the U, is the multi calls package. So the only real LaTeX code that I write except for these coloring ones, is the begin and end multi calls, which is essentially what puts everything inside the, these four columns. And I use the star because essentially when you use the star on a multi calls uh, environment, 
it means that I start writing text from here, I keep going down, and once the text uh, hits down here, it uh, is going to go into the next uh, column, and so it goes. Because if you if you were to do it without the star, you would essentially start writing a bit of text here, and then it would try to evenly, uh, evenly distribute your text among the different uh, columns. So it so if I wrote uh, half a page, I would, for example, put a bit of text here and then a bit here, a bit here. It would look kind of ugly. So I prefer when it uh, essentially does the usual thing, which is add text like this. And uh, th that's it. So with regards to latte configuration, and then what you do is you put this summary header, and this is where I this is the document that I just shown you. So I'll, I'll open it once again. And what's important is that you also format it. Obviously, now I'm going to open here on the right the PDF. And uh, notice that I changed the section. So I changed the some things, which is I changed the spacing so that it takes less space. Again, you see that it, I'm trying to make it very compact. I'm also making it red, and then I have kind of a color coding. So sections are going to be red, and then you'll notice that subsections they are going to be blue, and then sub subsections they are going to be kind of purple. And I changed the size accordingly, so the bigger ones they should uh, again call more attention and stuff. So you saw that I wrote absolutely nothing in terms of uh, in terms of actual LaTeX code inside my org, and yet, thanks to changing this header file, I managed to make everything look the way that I want. And uh, if you want, and uh, if you want to write this on yourself, uh, the first thing that I would uh, do is essentially. I have a set of skeletons on uh, on Emacs, and skeletons are essentially te templates. So to show you how that works, I'm going to go to my home folder, and I'm going to open the summary.org. This one is actually filled up, but I'm going to empty it. And uh, essentially, Emacs has this very useful feature, which is the um, skeleton. And you'll define skeletons in the configuration file. And essentially, you can call them as commands, and they will uh, and they will kind of fill up your document with whatever it is you set to be the skeleton. So in this case, I'm going to press meta x, and I'm going to call my skeleton with which I know that is called the uh, org summary. So here it is. I'm going to call it, and notice that uh, it kind of fills up already the sample document. So it inputs the header file that I uh, that I shown you earlier, and then it also sets the options. I'm, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to change the compiler because on Void Linux I actually have an issue with the PDF LaTeX compiler and I and I instead choose to use uh, Lua LaTeX. But this should be this shouldn't be a, a problem if you're not on Void most likely. And once that is done, I'm going to I don't know put this some sample text uh, some sample text. So this is a section header, and then I'm going to put this is text. I'm going to copy this line, I'm going to 70 paste. Notice I have 70 lines of that. And we're going to export it. So Control C, Control E to export. And I'm going to choose to export it as LaTeX. And then this LaTeX is going to become a PDF document. So I'm going to press the small O, the lowercase O, in order to, uh, to uh, open it as a PDF file in the end. It's going to take some time processing. And there you go. So you have the beginning. You see that the, the section header it becomes this red one, and then the text is going to be uh, keep being added. And I can keep doing this obviously. So if I want, I can make some subsections, and then I can add another one, say down here. If I do it again. I do need to update here. Notice that my subsections appear once again. I can make lists. And uh, again, you, you just write your regular org mode, except that um, now uh, everything is going to look different in the output because you manipulated that uh, header. So this is a very useful trick to to know. I'm going. If any of you are interested, I'm going to share what I use uh, my configuration file. I'm going to share very very soonish. I just need to clean it up a little. And uh, if you want to use some of my skeletons in order to simplify, say making some um, school, taking some school notes, etc., then uh, you're welcome to try it. So that's it for for now.
and I'll see you guys next time.